everybody and thank you so much for joining my channel. Sorry you haven't been seeing me as much, but life has been lifing. Let's get right into today's video. So today I have so much to talk about because we haven't been chatting for a while. I have hauled quite a few things and I want to introduce something new to you. I'm super excited to get this open and going. I have been traveling so I am nervous that I might have missed my window to return this if I don't like it. However, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I decided to try the fragrance, um, the fragrance brand Fern. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. So the fragrance brand Fern makes like small batch, unique niche small batch fragrances, and they sell out with every fragrance that they come out with. So you have to like um, sign up to get on their waiting list, and then when they release a fragrance or if they make a, make more, they'll let you know. Okay, yay, you've been selected to get our fragrance. And I feel like I'm not sure if this is like real or manufactured to like create some hype around their fragrance but it always sells out and they only have one fragrance per season they launch literally a unique fragrance for you know winter spring summer fall of each year so what happens is when you sign on you almost sign on for like a membership you get accepted if they have um, spaces or slots for new membership I got selected quite some time ago, but I passed on a couple of fragrances because it had notes in it that I didn't think I'd like. This one I think has um, a note or two that I may not like, but I said, let me try it. You do get 14 days to try it, and then you get to send it back, you know, get your money back and all of that if you don't like it. What they'll do is they'll take the, the fragrances that you return, and it's almost like unused stock or overstock. And then once the season passes, so right now we're in spring, when summer comes and they launch a new summer one, these overstock ones, if they have any, become a available to your to the membership so if I want to dig through their archives for example I may not like this spring launch or summer launch I can go back and ask for some of their um, older fragrances but let's get into it the one I have is spring 2024 and I'm gonna open it with you so um, because I am lazy we're gonna do, we're gonna do live b-roll here all right here's what the unboxing experience looks like so um, comes with this almost like a car authentication card is authenticated there and it tells you what you have in here your spring 2024 it has a little uh, description here of all the notes um, I'm not gonna read those out because that is I'm um, a little boring so the thing that gives me pause here is that it has um, Narcissus in here I don't quite like and Jasmine Sambac I think oh and Neroli so there are three things in here that I'm not too much much of a fan of but I said let's try it let's see anyway um, one thing that people rave about is this the beautiful card that comes with it so I think I'm gonna go ahead and open that what I can't open is I think the main bottle it supposedly comes with a sample that you can spray if you don't like the sample you should return the you should return the unopened um, big bottle full bottle I can't open this all right here is the thing so people like rave about these I've even heard of some people like framing these little cards that come with so here is a like a description of I don't even know what but I just wanted to show you this whole like leaflet thing I think it just talks about their ingredients and their process and their um, you know things like that so anyway that's that so let's get into the fragrance we are wasting time so this is the sample that it comes with let's open that together So this one comes with, oh, some rhubarb seeds. Super cute if I wanted to grow that. I'll give that to my parents because, <laughs> yeah, I don't have a green thumb and I have a brown thumb. And let's see here, what is this? This is um, a terracotta diffusion stone. Not sure. I guess I can put my fragrance on here if I wanted to. And here is the sample itself and this is again spring 24 organic perfume barrel aged in Somerset England and the brand is Fern FFE are in so let's try it together and the other thing that's a challenge with samples is that um, it never smells like the real thing so it's like I got to make judgment calls on something that isn't quite going to be right so mm. the citrus in here is awesome this this actually reminds me a lot of um, Te Noir. Te Noir from um, Le Labo. Mmm, 
I actually really, really like it. We'll have to see if the white florals in here bother me enough because again, it's not until I get it on my skin that I realize I don't like something. So I'm gonna give it a day and see how it treats me. They also gave um, like these little strips on here that I could have sprayed on instead of on my skin. So why, I mean, why not put it on my skin? That's where I get, that's how I'm able to judge if I like it or not. So that is the fern. I will, I will follow up as usual, let you know if I ended up keeping it or not. Um, I am not, I don't know. This is the, this is the way that the full bottle looks. I should be doing a cutaway, but I think we can see it from here. This is the full bottle. It comes like this in this little tube here. Now, I think for this little amount, it was pretty expensive. I, if I can remember correctly, this was 129 and this is a one fluid ounce. And you know, it's an organic, bespoke, small batch, all the thing, all the buzzwords that make things more expensive, this has it. <laughs> the unboxing experience was pretty cool. All of the things that you would expect for something that's really expensive. But I've been seeing this on my feed so much. I was like, let me just give this a shot. Let me let me get them out my inbox. All right, so now let's move on to the fashion. I'm still sniffing on this. It actually smells very nice. It's not bothering me so far. So we'll have to see, but it's lo it is lovely. So I did, I'm gonna follow up on one thing. I did a haul um, with at Nordstrom uh, last time. You probably, you know, remember me talking about some free people boots that I got that um, were the wrong size that they shipped to me and because they were final sale they gave me a refund but let me keep the boots so that was pretty nice of them uh, but this was a part of that same order this is an accessory I realized just some time ago that I didn't have navy blue tights well I I always have but I, I've ruined the ones that I had so I can get rid of my old ones and switch them out for these these are high-rise opaque you can't see that one but high-rise opaque blue tights. but you can see the color I mean that's the point um, and it has controlled top these feel really really nice I can't remember how much I paid for them but if I have the wherewithal I will put it on the screen so you can see but um, I got I know I got these down in the sale the next thing I want to show you is all of the things that I got from Urban Outfitters they had a really big sale with an additional 40% off of clearance so I'm gonna go through some of those items with you Let's see, what we got first is this, they called it a bleached maxi. So it's a denim skirt that looks acid washed to me. I have some jeans that kind of look like this, but I thought the skirt would be awesome. Oh, I love that it's, it's kind of um, worn, like a worn feeling to them. It has um, both a drawstring and a zipper here. So um, if I want to cinch it in tighter, I have that and I don't need a belt. I got this in a, I think the small, I got this in a size small and the way, you know, the way my curves are curving at the moment, a small is what I need. I usually get it, I used to get an extra small and everything. So that's going to put that in context. So this is what it looks like is, I don't know if it's coming up right on screen and I will have to look up the prices on this. The original price on this was $59. This is from their urban renewal line, which means they take um, either old or overstock items and refashion them into another piece and this is one of those things see this next thing I remember it is a dress the original price on this was $89 um, I got this in a size extra small now dresses I can usually get away with doing like extra small still even though I'm a bit heavier at the moment and the reason why is because they usually the things that I pick up are usually fit and flare or flare all together so it doesn't really hug on the heaviest part of my bo body which is the bottom half so I got this one it is like a shirt dress with this really awesome cool print on there let me put that a little closer so you can see that I, and it has ruffles it has the print but it's in a neutral kind of a color um, it does have some lettering on here that says heavenly delights all over um, and something else let's see what else does it say on here um, ethereal angel heavenly delights and ethereal angel and that's sort of the motif of the design on here but I just love if you all have been watching me for a long time I love like uh, innocent looking like young innocent looking kind of uh, womanly girly kind of things and that's why free people I really love free people they do it really well so this one is a t-shirt dress I got this one in a size extra small I don't know why I got this in the extra small because I feel like t-shirt I don't know we'll see 
This one, let's see, I, I don't have very many red items. This one, I love this little adorable tiny pocket and that it has the um, exposed stitching here on the outside. It um, does have a fit flare kind of a um, fit to it or a style to it. So maybe that's why I went for the extra small, but I think I should have probably gone for the, <laughs> for the small. I don't know what I was thinking. The next thing I got was a bodycon dress. This one is called a mesh dress and it's a brown color. I don't know if I'm gonna be comfortable wearing this one. We're gonna have to, we'll, we'll work on it. I'm losing my sunlight. So I'm gonna, things are gonna get a little bit dark as we talk here because I'm losing my sunlight. But this one is a entirely ruched dress and it's um, sleeveless and sheer. And I don't know where I think I'm gonna be wearing this to, but it's a, a midi length dress. So it's not like all the, what am I talking about? I said it's not all the way revealing, but it's all the way revealing because it is, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of see-through. It's body con. Uh, you know what? I can see myself wearing something like this to like Miami. <laughs> like that's where people wear like sexy, beautiful things like this. But I'll probably be wearing something like this at my in Miami. The original price on this was $69. The original price on this red dress was $49. And hopefully, like I said, I'll have the wherewithal to put on screen what I paid for these items. And the last item is actually, this is the item that sparked my shopping on Urban Outfitters to begin with. And it's this sort of plaid multi-print um, skirt. What do they call it? They called it a remade pieced, fl pieced flannel skirt, which is a good way to describe it. The original price was $59. I got this in a size small. And would you look at it? It has this asymmetry going, all these different patterns. and I love like quirky pieces like this. We've talked about this before, but this is my style. It has a um, elastic waist, with, which is awesome. No pockets though. I don't think any of the items that I got today have pockets, but that's okay. That's okay. We will live. This one I need to get on my body. ASAP. This is so so cute. I want to wear it ASAP because um, it's it's all you know it's about spring. So at some point it's gonna start warming up. It'll be too too hot to wear flannel pieces like this. This one was also from the Urban Renewal line, which means pretty much no two pieces are the same because, like I said, they take old pieces and refashion them into new pieces. So everyone will have different pieces of flannel and look different. So I appreciate that. I have another package that came from Urban Outfitters part of the same order this one is oh corduroy pants I got this in a size small that it looks it looks brown but they're calling it wine slash Bordeaux sorry as the color um, but it looks brown to me I got this for it was originally $59 and I said size small already but this is it it's like um it's kind of like cargo but cargos usually close up on the side but these are just like open pocket cargo pants here um so i'm really enjoying that i'm going if you haven't noticed the trend and what i'm picking up in terms of bottoms they're all really loose and big i'm living my 90s girl dream at the moment um so yeah <laughs> big baggy you know tomboy type of you know hip-hop looking things i am back into all of, i've never really quit but i'm really really back into it so i don't look day um this is my time to shine this is my era speaking of urban outfitters i did go out of town uh last week i was in virginia and went to the tyson center mall there's two malls right across from each other not too far from each other there's tyson center and then tyson galleria tyson center has like your everyday stores Tyson Galleria has the upper echelon Gucci Prada all of those types of stores so I went to the Tyson Center I'll be back in Virginia again next week so um, I plan on doing Galleria the next time around but I did pop into the Urban Outfitters in the Tyson Center Mall and I picked up this skirt and there is a story with this skirt how cute is this this reminds me of the dress that I just picked up but it looks like like the black and white version of it this one has heavenly de delights on it and it says sinners have more fun ethereal angels it says all of that and that's sort of the the motif on here as well I love the flounciness of it so I got this skirt in a size small. The original price on here was $49. It was on a discount for 
$24.99, so $25, and it was marked that it was going to be reduced another 40%. So I was fully expecting to pay like, you know, $15-ish or something for this, and I had a coupon for $5 with me, so I'd pay like, I was willing to pay $10 for the skirt. So I got to the register, and it rang up for $9.99. They took 40% off. It came up as $5.99. Guess who still had the coupon? For five dollars this came up as 99 cents and my total on this was like a dollar and seven cents so i got a skirt from urban Out urban outfitters for a dollar y'all a dollar while i was in there too i was you know i was pretty distracted while i was there i was pretty busy with work so my mind wasn't really focused on shopping i got it i went in there really more so to get some steps and just to kind of get away from my computer and my desk and i wandered into la Roche, um chocolate store what do they call it Cho Cho chocolatier suisse so swiss chocolate <laughs> i picked up some of this chocolate. i've been hearing so much about how good this chocolate is and there are very few locations and i stumbled across lot of so i went in there and i've sampled all of these i got like four different types of barks i've sampled all of them right away so good so if you can ever find a lot of anywhere near you go check it out because it is so friggin good boom so that's that i um have been spending quite some time chatting with you already um probably over 20 minutes at this point <laughs> and this perfume is good it uh, you know i really thought that the the jasmine and the uh neroli and all that would be aggressive but it's not it's actually more so overpowered by um i don't know i don't know what is the dry down is because the opening was citrusy the dry down now is something that i don't think i've ever smelled before it gives me some of something in it smells a little bit like church <laughs> like frankincense and myrrh or something like that but i don't know i have to look at the notes but it's giving me a little bit of that with powdery with floral with slight hint of citrus but it's unlike anything I've ever smelled before. So I feel like I'm going to give it till tomorrow. I'm going to try it again. I'm, I feel like I'm going to keep this one because this one is pretty unique and I'm digging it. So that is the end of today's haul. That's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I apologize that we're not doing as many videos. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, maybe you don't want to hear from me that often anyway. So you let me know in the comments down below. If once a week is good, we're going to stick with the once a week. But... If you miss me, let me know down below and I'll make more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Bye.